So this is the video to uh, install the Z parts end pass. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do to start is put some epoxy all around this. Um, you're gonna wanna fill these uh, keyways in here uh, and that will help uh, retain uh, this part in to the backside of the, uh, the nozzle. Um, and when you insert it, you're gonna wanna line up this pin with this pin and that way uh, the the end pass will uh, be able to be keyed the correct way. Um, and yeah, uh, and just make sure you don't use too much epoxy, but don't use too little either. Um, but yeah, so <clears throat> to install the actual end pass, you're gonna wanna put the spring on like so put it in there and then kind of slide it up in there and then push it kind of all the way in and then grab your hex key and insert it into the uh, set screw and then kind of uh, key the actual end pad if you can see in there um, I'm twisting it around and you're gonna want to make sure that the opening is at the right side like so and then you're going to want to insert the back side of the nozzle. And then you kind of want to jiggle it with the hex key so that the end pass can go through like so. And then you're going to want to insert that pin in there. And then you can now adjust your end pass like so. Clockwise will uh, reduce power and counterclockwise will increase power. And yeah, there you go.